Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Saskia Alice here with another video. If this is your first time stopping by, you're definitely welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by once again. So today we're going to be talking about things that I wish I knew when I just had acne. A lot of maybe you don't know, but I'm suffering from acne. I don't use the word so far. <laughs> I've been struggling with acne for a very, very, very long time. Precisely since 2012. So if you want to keep, if you want to hear what I have to say, please do keep watching. <laughs> So I have my book because I wrote down some of these points so that I don't forget. Yeah, so when my acne started in 2012, June 2012, if I remember the date, you can imagine the trauma I was passing through. Like, ugh, it was so... Ugh, imagine you live from clear skin to break out like in... And it wasn't just one, it was like my whole forehead in, in no time. Like, all of a sudden, I was just... I was putting, I was doing everything to cover it up. I was so mad. Basically, here are a few things that I wish I knew when it started. I think I would have had a better chance of fighting it if I knew all, I knew these things at the beginning because I was just confused. Just like throwing somebody that doesn't know how to swim in a swimming pond or like or in an ocean. That's just, I don't know, that's how I felt like. Number one. And I think this is like the most important, but it's the most difficult. <laughs> it's the most important, but it's the most difficult. Do not poke it. Let that pimple be. Don't touch it. When you touch it, majority of the time, if you're touching one spot, you're likely going to touch another spot without washing your hands. That's really the first thing. So you're already going to transfer bacteria from one to the next. So how do you expect the other one to heal? You've already now double contaminated the other acne. Two, your hands are dirty already, even without the, the one pimple on it. You greet people, you touch stuff, you write, you hold your phone. Now you're touching your face. I know it's a very bad habit. I still struggle with it to date. But this is something that is going to like help with your acne like I think 50% minus any other thing you're doing if you just can't stop this one forget it you're on a good road <laughs> two when I when it started I will go to the market and I'll buy all types of like somebody just needs to sneeze and call the name of a product I'll just run pam and go and buy it those lotions those small small bottles those things are the ones killing, killing, killing us. They don't help at all. Like anyway, let me not say at all. Me, personally, my own story. It didn't help me. No one I used helped me. And trust me, my table was full. The fact that it worked for A or B doesn't mean it's going to work for you. And the fact that it didn't work for me doesn't mean it cannot work for you. But you just need to go about it the right way. I didn't go about it the right way. I just bought everything. And I'll use it for a week. And I'll be like, ah, it's not working. And I don't pick, ah, it's not working. And even the ones I used for like two months, because there are some that I finished like three bottles. Because I really saw like proof. Ah, her own word. She's like, no, she used it for a while. And I know you stick to this one, Saskia. You will stick here and you will get your results. And then you're there. Two months, three months, nothing. And you end up changing. Like, my skin was always looking red. And it was looking... Was, it was always looking beat up and I wasn't even recognized that my skin was always looking that bad It's when I got to a point where I started understanding what I was supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do That I started realizing that oh wow my skin was horrible Don't buy products based on I hear see Kongosa doesn't work here <laughs> Must do something to your face by yourself Stick to natural products but Lemon, honey all those stuff and the truth is this takes me to my next point be patient i wasn't patient enough with any natural regimen that i started because <clears throat> i was just not patient i wanted it to be to be gone like now <laughs> i used everything but i didn't 
stick to one thing. Like today I'll use honey, tomorrow I'll use aloe vera, that's more. The good thing about changing natural products is that it doesn't really have an adverse be like it wouldn't really spoil your skin as much as the lotions in the bottle do. But the only thing is if you do not stick to one thing, it's really not going to help you. It's basically useless. You'd have better not done anything, just be there and look at the acne and let the acne look at you. <laughs> Next thing is don't stress about your acne. Personally, I have hormonal acne from what I finally, finally come to discover. <laughs> I have a hormonal acne, so when I'm stressed, my face shows it. So there's really nothing I can do about it. When So I just try not to stress. So imagine you now having to stress about regular things in life, like your bills, your rent, your, I don't know, any other stressful thing, <laughs> getting a job, looking for clients, building a business, looking for stuff like that. That alone is a lot of stress. So you don't want to now add, oh my God, I have a new pimple. Oh my God, I have a new pimple. That that one is useless stress. Don't stress about that one because you stressing about having a new pimple is going to get you two new pimples. Do not do that. You have to find a regiment and stick to it. I'll join these two points at once. So I'm talking about a regimen and I'll really advise that you get to a dermatologist to prescribe you a regimen to follow because when you meet a dermatologist, they are now going to study your skin, know the type of acne you have, know why the acne is there, and then they'll tackle it from inside out. Right. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> now when they give you that regimen, then you have to follow it strictly and consistently like stick to one thing your skin likes to have the same thing it's not like the body it's not like you your mouth your taste buds are like to, today you want a arrow tomorrow you want a quang after tomorrow you want actual no your face likes to have the same thing done to it every time like cleanser toner moisturizer those things and stick to it don't be like oh no this is not working most of the time acne gets worse before it gets better most times when we have acne or when i had acne in the beginning i just concentrated on putting things on my face putting things on my face i forgot that inside if you're not eating right if you're not sleeping well if you're not drinking a lot of water your acne just it just tends to multiply <laughs> like it's automatic you just you're doing stuff to your face but it's not working you need to cleanse from the inside for the outside to be able to get better there's one thing i used to hear and i grabbed onto it like like this very strongly i see here um people that have acne should not oil their face people that have oily skin don't put oil on your face it's going to make it worse that's the biggest lie in the acne community <laughs> have to oil your skin your face needs to be moisturized whether you have oily skin or you have dry skin if you do not oil your skin i don't know the term but if you do not oil your face your system <laughs> starts realizing that oh this girl there's no oil on this place so i need to do more so your body now instead generates more excess oil so if you're oiling your face, your skin is like, oh, chill, there's oil coming in. If you're not oiling it, your skin is like, ah, there's nothing coming in here. So we need to, to multiply the way we are doing, what we are doing inside here. So now there is no, your cells are going to multiply the oils and then you have more oil, more uh, an oily, oilier face and double acne. <sighs> If you're not oiling your face, go and start doing that now. Error I did, right? Of course, when the acne came, I was super broke. And then I heard of this place that you'd go and do your facial for two, five. Hey, God. <laughs> so that's where I went to. I was trying to do facial. Like, all I needed was a facial. I was going there and they're like, oh, come every week, come every week. She's so, so Nazareth. If you saw my face that period, 
and the funny part is i kept going every week for like two months straight to date 90 percent of the acne scarring i have around my jawline here is as a result of that those facial treatments that i did because the way they did my face got when i got another facial done i got a better facial done my first good facial i felt the difference and that's this is for, it's not for nothing that some of these procedures are, are not cheap getting a facial is not cheap it's not supposed to be cheap the products they use the expertise all of that is not cheap it's not supposed to be when i went for the cheap one i got double effects like i had worse acne i don't like the, I think the products that they use on me and even they are, I don't even get it. I don't even know who asked them to open. Like who hired that girl in that place? I don't even get it. Do your research on wherever you are going to do your face. Do not go. Not every esthetician knows what they're doing. Last thing I'm going to say concerning things that I wish I knew about acne when it started is. I wish I knew that acne didn't take away your beauty. Acne didn't take away your personality. Acne didn't change who you are. It's just something that is on you and it's going to go one day whenever it wants to. So you cannot you cannot build your life trying to hide <laughs> from people or trying to live your whole life living a whole facade like people there are a lot of people that knew me for years and they didn't know that I have acne because I couldn't even go to the store with my face without makeup like it was it was that bad now I walk I go anyway <laughs> now I'm so free I can do I can be any I can just be like that <laughs> limitations anymore because I, I don't, I'm not defined by my acne I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm comfortable with the way it is. Of course, I'm treating it and it will go when it wants to go. But while it's trying to go, c'est la vie. <laughs> I'm just trying to see a lot of things that I pushed forward. Like even YouTube, I pushed YouTube forward. Like, you no, know, I'm going to start my YouTube channel when my acne clears up. Like, what? <laughs> what? The, the way it, it affects your self-confidence in a funny way like you don't realize you may not realize it at the moment but do check yourself and if you notice that your acne is affecting your self-esteem your self-confidence do not let it do that you're beautiful you're pretty it doesn't define you at all <laughs> at all Anybody that tries to make you feel like your acne defines you is just useless. <laughs> it's just useless. Put the person in the dustbin and get on with your life. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you want. Leave a comment to let me know things that you two have learned along the line in your acne journey and things that you think um, I didn't say or if yeah any other thing that you need to add please do and if there's any other videos i want to hear about acne and my acne journey do let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching and god bless you